These are uh, these are the cotter bolt for the lower fulcrum pin on a uh, old Datsun pickup truck um, prior to '78, roughly. Uh, so anything that had drums. Okay, so this is basically for the Datsun guys. So I'm looking to recreate this part. They're no longer available. Haven't been for a while now, and these are some of the very last brand new ones ever bought. And I bought these things probably whew, I don't know seven eight years ago. Uh, so, I did the CAD work uh, a week or two ago, stuff like that, and uh, so here it is here with all the basic dimensions and that stuff, and the one thing that, uh, oh, there we go, <laughs> I went up and just printed out this one because I didn't see that, the center offset is uh, 30 thou, and what I'm, what I'm looking at there is if you notice, the, the threaded portion is at the bottom, okay, it's uh, not concentric with the center of the, the rest of the dowel, okay? Uh, this is about 5 sixteenths, so I shouldn't really have to do anything on the backside. I'll have to uh, do the flat spot here in the mill. But to get this turned down, I'm just going to do it with a die. I'm not going to... I don't have... Uh, for as many as I want to do and need to do, it's too tedious to do manually on the big lathe. Plus two, I really haven't... I've never done threads before, so... I'm not going to make this the first time, uh, but I will put these in the CNC machine and cut this uh, this diameter, okay? Uh, possibly around the end, possibly around the end here. Doesn't need to be, but so the pin that's taken care of there. What I need is a tool because uh, I don't really want to put that thing in the. I don't want to have to keep changing the chucks back and forth. I could put the four jaw. Uh, I'm not even positive I have an independent forge uh, on the little CNC lathe. So anyway, I have the tool drawn up here, and basically it's just really simple. Uh, I'll get it cut to length and stuff like that, and I'll clean up the ends on the lathe. Uh, a lot of the dimensions just aren't critical at all. And then uh, the offset for the centers here, I'll just stick it in the mill and just move it 30 thousandths. And I gotta see. I do want that to fit fairly close to the dowel. Uh, I have it set up here so that with the hole being off cent off centered, the threads will still be in the center when it turns, okay? And that means the flat spot's gonna be on this side. So I'm gonna put the Allen the set screw, okay, on that side so it pushes here. So that way when I put these in the mill and trim this off, any damage created by the set screw trying to hold it will be milled away. So the piece I've got here, just a leftover piece of uh, inch and uh, eighth, I think. Oh, inch and a half, sheesh. Uh, so let's, oh, low gear. The, the length really doesn't matter, so I'm just going to clean up the ends. I'm not going to try to... Uh, cut it to a sp specific length or anything like that, so... Yeah, that's a little nicer. That's why, that's why it's screwing up here, is because I've got this piece in here, uh, and I'm measuring center, so it's throwing it off an eighth of an inch. So it takes an F drill bit, and the F drill bit is just a hair bigger than quarter inch. Uh, so, I can't quite get the, the quarter inch, or the F in the quarter inch collet, so I'm just going to do it with a quarter inch drill bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill a little bit further down in there so that I create a pocket on the far side. Because I don't think I have a drill bit, uh, I don't have a tap, a quarter, a 5 16th, 18 uh, bottoming tap, okay? This is what I'm talking about here. In order for the threads, which are finally complete, you know, about 3 eighths of an inch up, I need a, I need a recess there for that to drop into, 
okay uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill that a little further down and and uh, then we'll see if we can tap it all right the cheat is I put the little quarter inch spot drill up here um, so that's gonna act as my pointer so I don't have to raise the uh, head and because as soon as I raise the head, it's not going to be centered. I got to go find center again, stuff like that. All for the want of you know an eighth of an inch, uh, or three quarters of an inch, or whatever. So I got it up in there. So that will be enough. Now it's not going to drill the back side of my tap handle because I'll be going opposite of the uh, the drill. You know, so the drill wants to turn the same direction. That's when it would bite, uh, and it's not going to bite. Uh, okay, so I'm just keeping a hand pulling on the on the quill handle. Now, will it hurt the quarter inch uh, spot drill? It might. Will it stop it from drilling? I highly doubt it. Okay, that bottomed out in the hole there, so let's go ahead and I really don't think there's anything left to to do except for blow out the debris. Well, that ought to work pretty slick. I could grind this down a little bit and get that recessed, just uh, maybe for a little bit of a safety issue. So that and, and not grind down the this end, grind down the other end. Um, that way. Uh, the set screw sits flush, so if I were to, you know, get my hand up against this while it was spinning on the lathe, anything like that, I wouldn't have this sticking out. Taking that out of work. All right, that's what I was talking about. I got it back, got down there uh, flush. I like that. I guess we can see about uh, mounting it up in the little lathe and finding out just how far that's. Uh, off center if it's what we need. All right, it's swinging 60. Total indicated run out, which means we should our center should be 30 thou off. Perfect. All right, let's take a little test cut. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess I probably should tighten that down. <laughs> 